book since the year before. Sounds like uh, Eastern Parkway Part Two or something. <laughs> What? I'm it's just not. saying because she's looking. <laughs> Sky's looking for immigrants I, right now. I'm not looking for immigrants. She's looking for immigrants I'm for looking, her. Uh, no. Oh, fitness. Oh, just my saying. Goodness. You want oh, no. people that don't? I am yeah, not. You want people that, I am not. Dutty one and <laughs> all that. I'm doing a Pepper Labor Day edition and all that. of my. This is a dope connection right here because she done met a whole bunch of them. Her family. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know I said, but I had a good weekend. Like once again, I'm so sorry I wasn't there, but that's why I I had this since last year planned, and then they came up the we came up with a day party, and I'm sorry, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm so sorry I'm late too, but I wanted to. For real, because I yo, I, I know you to, as a punctual person. I'm I not am, even surprised right? by black success. We should just kick him off, man. right? So let me get the chair. Yeah. Yeah. I might he just tell you. Again. It doesn't matter. Early the most. I, <laughs> You know what? Fuck it, man. We gonna we gonna, we ain't gonna wait. We gonna start. We gonna jump right into um topics because we can just you know talk about. We gonna talk uh first topic. We gonna say relationship three on three unwritten rules. Three on three unwritten. We rules. like you know like we do classes like English one on one. So this is relationships three on three. Like okay, you know okay. little time in the relationship unwritten rules version though. Like, what are some of the unwritten rules? Now, this is one that we're going to start off with. Uh, is it okay for your partner to have friends of the opposite sex? If I know them. It's so how many, though? <laughs> like, is it like a... It shouldn't be that many. I don't... Exactly. Like, look. What if he's in the field where he deal with a lot of females and he got a female friends? Right. I mean, it depends on your line of work. It depends on what you do. If we have an understanding and I trust you and, like, it's no funny business going on and I'm introduced to them, I don't find it a problem because I should be able to have male friends and right absolutely but if you got like 10 every nigga to every somebody every time you're forming is always a different dude that wouldn't be cool <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be with that I ain't gonna lie I, I wouldn't be with that so is it like a limit on how many like I don't think it's a limit like I said it depends like if you work in you can work media, anywhere right you might know a thousand women so 10 women would be like okay easy. you could be a cop in no and it depends what time women. are they calling you what what are these messages consist of like mm-hmm. you know how about you sky how uh, you feel about that <laughs> friends of the opposite sex oh child um <laughs> now this is somebody so, who deals with someone who's in the entertainment yes yeah, so in my particular situation <laughs> um i'm not allowed to really have male friends like i don't i for for me, even even so, you're not allowed. So it's not not that I'm not allowed. That's the wrong terminology. Well, use the right term. It's, we'll get okay, out. the right <laughs> term is usually nine times out of ten. The reason why the opposite sex is a friend is because somebody was friend zone. So given the correct uh, opportunity. Scott, I'm sorry to cut you off. Black success is in the building. Welcome everybody to the show. Yeah, what's good? How y'all doing? Welcome to the Thank show. You. All right, fuck out of here. Back to your answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck up. Um, I feel like, you know, it's okay to a certain extent, though. But, like, if it's work, if I know that he met the person at work, I'm more likely to be like, all right, she's a fine female friend. He has a lot of female friends. They've become my friends, some of them. So, in that case, yeah. Some of these artists... You know, nah, no. See, artists is not a friend. Artists are not really friends. So when you know when that word gets flipped, artists nah. Is like key word for yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? It could be a professional um relationship, even if they call Some unprofessional people. hours, because in the business, you know, like Showtime never stops. So no. I could be in the studio working till like two, three in the morning, or I mean, you my, know, my man's on the radio at two a.m. Look at that. Right, but now, if, but artists call them like, listen, I just heard that beat. Which I need is to, usually to male artists. Now, I think as a female, you just kind of whether you a female artist, you're if you're a female artist, you just know like this. There's, there's still rules to as a female, like the rules still kind of apply, like whether you are artist or not as a woman. That's how I feel. Uh, bad girl. <laughs> Friends of the opposite sex. I don't Your care. Your new bae, can he have some friends? I don't care. Ooh. <laughs> I don't care. Um, for me, I mean. I mean, the truth is, like, I have a best friend who's a guy, you know. He gay? Wait. <laughs> he is not. He's I'm actually very, very, he's very, very far from gay. One of, I have two best friends. One's a girl, one's a guy. And my guy best friend, you know, uh, we're very, very, very close. We've been in each other's lives almost going on seven years. Um, this is somebody that, you know, really looks out for me, really takes care of me. Somebody who literally 
has taken care of me when I didn't have two pennies to rub together. Somebody who gave me his car to go drive to a job interview. Somebody gave me his car for total three weeks to. He ain't never tried to hit? No, that's my best that's friend. Like, that's my that's best great. friend. That's, that's, I know. I, it's all right. Like, and we have a. And every, any, any, since he's been in my life, he always used to tell me, tell your boyfriends them, I come first. I and mean, he's joking, but he's like, but this is somebody who's been consistent in my life. He's somebody who's out there. Everyone who knows me knows him. I mean, if y'all on my page, y'all see when I post my best friend, the person I'm seeing right now, I always put my hand over my head. Like, how the hell the two of them became friends so fast? But in terms of the, the, the guy girl friendship thing, I don't see nothing into it because I have a legitimate, healthy relationship with a fit of somebody the opposite sex. Now, if you do something that raises a red flag or if you get disrespectful, then we're gonna have a problem. But for the most part, I mean, y'all could interact, kick it, just be respectful to me. So, there's no limits, there's no limits. It's not like I, I mean, there's, that. there's okay, there's certain like you said, unwritten rules. You can't be just calling him five in the morning, six right. in the morning, like it's crazy. That's just. That's just standard for anybody. And when and where did you meet the friend? Like, if mm-hmm. it's someone that you've been friends with prior to me, I would never have a problem with that. Exactly. No friends now, after if you. We, because why are you speaking to girl? What, what if I work with them, we become friends. But that's a co-worker. That's yeah, that's not, a co-worker. Like, that's a friend like, hey, let's go get something to eat at 5 o'clock in the morning. No. Mm. I'm going to say something no, no, that, five o'clock just, is crazy. that uh, like my, 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 uh, my boyfriend says to me. He's like, listen. If somebody's gonna cheat, they're gonna cheat. No matter what rules you put in it, no matter how you put it, no matter what time you what no matter what you do, no matter if you you wanna watch them twenty four seven, if somebody wants to cheat on you, they will find a way. Absolutely. So, so to kinda of, to kinda of be the person that wants to limit the amount of friends they have or how they move with their friends, it's not gonna it's not gonna save the end result if that's what they wanna do. Cause they're gonna find a way. Trust me. So that's why I don't I don't really like see it as that much of a big deal unless I'm disrespected. Boogie black. Friends of the opposite sex. Is there a limit on how many they can have? Or can they even have it? Can young Sushi have a black friend? (laughs) (laughs) She has has friends. You know, um, I I, I feel like you don't don't really know anyone that you got to give regulations to. Mm -hmm. You got to see what they naturally going to do. You got to let water flow. So let me see what you're going to do naturally without me saying nothing. Let me see how you're going to move. Let me see if you're going to be... You know, going out, texting, whatever. I, let me just see what it is before I tell you who to be. And I feel like sometimes we'll know people a little bit better if we give them time to be themselves. Mm-hmm. And then you'll know, you know, let me fall the fuck back. I don't like this situation. This don't look good. This motherfucker out every day. Got mad dudes texting her, talking about that's the bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, but so much bro words I'm be hearing, you know what right. I mean? So I, I just feel like there's no such thing as limitations. We're all adults. Let people do what they're going to do. If you're in a relationship, you know what that entails and what you should be doing with, with that. And that's all. Yeah, I, I kind of, not even kind of, I always agree with you. Like, there's no type of limitations on a friendship. Like, I mean, this is this is, this is is some of the things that I do. You know what I mean? Put down. Putting a limitation. That's, that's, that's someone type of, um, like, insecure feeling or something. Like, no, no, you went past your three friend limit type yeah. thing. You know what I, I'm saying? I, I, I feel like when you when when you do that when you do the whole oh no don't do this or don't talk to this, I feel like it make them want to do it. You mm-hmm. understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you all don't get nobody no damn limits. Watch what they're gonna do by themselves because they're gonna tell you who they are, and that's when you find out whether or not you you need to be there. You need to get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Straight up, black success. You know what I mean? <laughs> Welcome to the show. You already know what it is. You know what I mean? I own um, another unwritten rule should. Couples have curfews. Living together, is it a certain time you need to be in house before it's too disrespectful? <laughs> so we start on that side. Let's go your way this time. Um, How you feel about that? Y'all living together. Not saying y'all and y'all, you're in his mm-hmm. own spot. Y'all living together. So what's... Is it curfews for a couple? Right. Like I won't say curfew per se, but there needs to be a certain amount of accountability for time. Mm-hmm. And... um. I need to at least have an idea of where you are and what you're doing. I don't want a minute by minute, blow by blow, you know, itinerary of what's going on in your day, but I want to have an idea. And I say from the perspective of of security, like if something happens to you, I want to be able to know that, okay, well, he was supposed to be here XYZ time. You know, if I hear there's an accident on FDR, I know he was supposed to be somewhere passing through there so I can, you know, get on my superwoman shit make sure everything is okay rather than me just being in the in the house you know miserable Wondering. yeah if, if you if you respect your relationship and your partner like hey babe i'm running late hey i'm doing this hey i'm doing that let's keep them in the loop 
you know, but if the person respects you also, you're not going to do anything out of the way, not like, ridiculously crazy. I mean, I've had my boyfriends come home like six in the morning, seven in the morning after a party, but I knew where they were. I knew the type of party right. where it was. So I, I was in the know. It wasn't like he disappeared for like 16 hours and then showed up. And then I'm like, I'll be pissed as shit. You come in seven, seven in the morning. I didn't see her from you since 12 in the day. Now that's a problem. But if I know you're out somewhere and you kept me in the loop, like I don't have a problem with it. I just want to know. I just want to be able to know. I just want to be able to account for you. So mm. I won't say curfew, but just be accountable. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Accountability, fellas. Yo, you got look to me. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Tell you also, you can my come dude, home anytime. My dude, home, listen, I'm going home. home. Let me be, be the first one to say, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. Everybody not like it. I'm like, okay. She I'm, said I'm, 7, 8 in the I'm morning. I said, a word? I wanna, listen, you got you to gotta treat them the way you want to be treated. And I'm be honest with you. Mm. I'm going home. What's the curfew? <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> if I go to a party, I'll be home three the latest. Unless I'm working and I have to stay to count the money or whatever. But besides that, I'm going home, bro. It's no reason for me to be out. It's no reason for me to watch the club close. It's no reason for me to go out to eat right after the club with a whole bunch of friends. Like, like that's the second party after the party. The diner I'm is going the second home. party, man. I'm going Fresh home. Fresh toast is lit for in the morning. Jerry's so. going home. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even black success. Jerry's going home. That's a fact. Cause I, my dude, if my girl was to hit me with that, I would bug the fuck out. Bitch, this fucking refrigerator is right here. <laughs> asshole, stop playing around. What the fuck you at? I'm come. I'm up now. Now you just woke me up. Now I'm coming out. Put the slippers on. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm coming. Yeah, right. I'm pick you I'm up. Yeah. <laughs> Walking to the diner, bugging my dude. So, come on, son. We're not even gonna play that game. Man. I'm going home. I want the same respect. You so, know? you you want someone ever to um event is finish you out? Not even before. So two o'clock. To put it Give yourself on. to two thirty three. Get the fuck out of there, bro. So three latest. God, yeah, you gotta go. You in the club? Right. What, what are you closing the club for? You take it. Who say you in the club? Could be anywhere. I don't know. Where else? Would I, you I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just throw that. I don't, right. I don't know. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't. We ain't gonna touch that. But motherfucker, go home. That's all I'm saying. I don't. You can't put a curfew on an adult, but you need to be respectful. Mm-hmm. Like. You may work weird hours, so you come in when the sun comes up. That's fine. But like she said, just give me a call. Like, let me know you're safe. Let me know you're okay. Let me know that you're around people that are not trying to harm you. Like, I don't think you need a curfew. But so you okay with coming home anytime, as long as I'm checking in. As That's a page I'm checking in. And as long as, like... That's you know, good. Respectful. It's not every night now. If you come exactly. Every day, that's a it's problem. not an every night thing. But it's like I'm going out, whatever, I'm having fun. I don't see anything wrong with that as long as I know. Just... Informed. But I feel like y'all two are more saying that because y'all want the same type of courtesy. You know they do. I mean? They want to come home with well, it. I don't come home late. I, I'm in. I don't come home late. So Just I don't. Up. Go on home. I don't care. E.T. Go home. <laughs> e. T. Go when home. she out, she's saying she would because she's giving that courtesy yeah, but I would court, like, listen, yeah, you I'm check out, it in. Check it in so on me I'm shit. I'm still here. I'm going to leave in like 20 minutes or Check it in really on me shit. So. It don't. Nigga be checking and sitting right next to this bitch. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm at the store right now. I don't know. Yeah, what baby. Is that? I'm just saying. Therefore, I'm just saying. You see? Therefore, I'm saying, uh, therefore, I'm saying, they say, like, timing. it doesn't matter as long as you checking in. But I could be like, you know, I'm saying you text right there laying up. Yeah, but line is crazy over here, man. I'll be there in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But see, that, I mean, that's, that's something that you would know. Shake the so bag and if shit. If somebody does that, that's their personality. And you're going to notice that anyway. So I'm like, why would I live with you if this is what you do? Now, once in a blue, okay. If you have something, okay. And it's like not an every single day thing. But if it's every now and again, I don't see a problem with that. I don't think I have to place a curfew on a grown man. You better not. You shouldn't have to place you better not. You better not. <laughs> you better not. Especially if you paying some of them bills. No, you better, better not. not. That's right. <laughs> Scott, what's up? Um, I what mean, my man home? comes home <laughs> <laughs> like four days a week at six, seven. And last night he came home at six in the morning because that's just the nature of his job. Scott, um, would you just tilt towards that camera a little bit? Yes. Dave. Right here? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So... Uh, I can't really have much say, but I can say when the shoe was on the other foot and I went out for a birthday party and I, I came in actually after him, he got home before me. <laughs> so I came home like six. He was like, 
who said you like he was like excuse me you supposed to come home <laughs> <laughs> it was no check in between we went, well, we went to the diner <laughs> you oh see it told you first toast nigga. <laughs> Welcome first to toast. I didn't have French toast but, but we I'm went saying, to the diner yeah, it, was, it was no check in um, in between it was he actually got me an uber to come back home so he, it was a check in <laughs> he actually he said bring he that actually, ass home <laughs> bring he, that ass here <laughs> I was gonna sleep over at my girlfriend's house because I just Zay. felt like it was late yeah, and like no you was about to sleep over your girl if the shoe was on the other foot He'd be allowed just to stay out, like yo, it's late. I'm staying at my homeboy house. Well, I think you know it's weird. That's the nature of his job. So yeah, he sure. does it so much. He sleep out? No, no, no. He oh. like stays out so much that it's like for me, if I do it once every two to three months and I sleep over at my girlfriend's house, it's almost like equivalent. It's not even equivalent to the amount of times he <laughs> comes home at six, five, six in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So it's like coming home six in the morning, staying the whole night out, <laughs> totally different. So then yeah, uh, here's another true. question: Are you allowed to stay out when you? When you're you're where are you no, going? No. <laughs> Oh, it's no way you're spending the night. Who are you spending the I'm night at? Over. I'm coming over. You need a, I say you need an Uber? Pull you need me to come get you? Bed. I'm bringing no, a pillow and all that. I'm coming over. Black like, like the cuddle. The you got to get you. That's a fact. That's a fact. We got a sleeping pattern, boo. Fuck out of here. How you going to leave me to sleep I by myself? sleep by myself. Coming over. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, yeah. But, you know, I respect it. I don't, I don't tell him too much. Now, on his free days. Then that's a different story. I feel like on your free days, I'm going with you. <laughs> if it ain't work, I'm going with you. Cause, and that, I spend so much time sleeping, falling asleep by myself that when it's not work and when we're out on your free days and I'm staying with you, so deal with it. That's how I feel. Mm. <laughs> Fix okay. your face, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, let's talk girls and guys trips. How many is loud during the year? Girls and go, what, what you mean like girls trip? Girls, oh, we going uh, guys trip? Yeah, we all bro, we going. How many is allowed when you're in a relationship? Zero. Fuck See that shit? You can't go nowhere without you. Wow, you can't go away. No trip. You are out your. God there you go. Damn. This is you know wow. you could go. He went to, actually he went to Atlanta City for a bachelor party, and I'm okay with that. If it's a bachelor party, I'm fine with that. That's an excuse. At our age, that's Birthday a guy party. trip. I mean, birthday. Nah, y'all too damn old. Y'all should be doing that. Y'all twenty. Forget going on a birthday party. Y'all twenty years old. What the hell? Like, how? What the hell? Y'all go somewhere. So you can't take. Hold on. You can't take guys trips in your thirties. Hey, hey, babe. Well, uh, me and the fellas go to Cuba. What? What? We want to be here. Come here. Thirty fifth for son. Come here. Take a seat. I'm like, oh, me too. Me too. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Like, what? The room is too per. Like, I'm there. So he gets no. Like, yeah, if it's a bad like he he had he went to a bachelor man. party for the weekend in Atlanta City a couple months a month ago or something. So yeah. a bachelor party is cool. Fine. That's like a big celebration. Because that's because like, paid hoes at the bachelor party. Because though. It, which is fine. I'm fine with the paid hoes at the bachelor party. <laughs> they I know their was, job. I probably I can't book them to be honest. Hey. But my thing is, y'all just taking vacations like. First of all, y'all y'all dating? Yeah, y'all like I'm confused. Y'all 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 go out to the club Don't, together. Well, 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 women go on girls trips too. <laughs> no, well, not every not single for birthdays. Birthday. Every single. That's we, why I said how many is allowed? We go in, for like, birthdays the or bachelor That's what party. I said. Birthdays, bachelor. Same dudes do the same thing. Yo, my no, big thirty fifth, oh, we out. No, my big thirty, no, we no, out. No, no, this is what dudes no, do. No, yo, I ain't never been nowhere. I'm trying to get out. The only time I did like, I did a man's trip was on a birthday. It's a birthday or bachelor. That's the only time dudes do it. Yo, my big thirty. I'm thirty fifth. How were you when you did that? I did. 21. I did one at twenty five. Okay. One at one at thirty. Okay, so then okay, those are those are ages where I'm like, but then after that, you won't keep on going to birthday. Trips. I mean, now now it's over. You feel me? I can't. Yeah. I can't do it all. So he get besides the bachelor party. Let's get back to your answer. Besides the bachelor party, basically it's a dog. Wow. No, I come pull like, up, Miami. Like come check me. Have girlfriend like you know what I'm saying like we're at an age country. where if yeah. your friends kind of don't you can get a couple us, trip in there kind of, but why do I always 30, have to go right? with you if y'all are, if your but friends a, are single but I, a lot of a lot of 30 year olds are single so then I can't trust your motives they have hell no you ain't going on now I can't hang on go ahead go hold on listen I'm not saying that in within the year y'all not getting no trip like y'all go away y'all get y'all trip in a couple trip but he like nah you know what I'm saying the bros trying to go away somewhere. Uh, he can't just right. take I'm five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, see, <laughs> I, wouldn't put, I wouldn't put a number on it, but I'll say if you're going for work, if you're going for like a celebration, maybe one person is doing like a big birthday thing, that's fine. But if you coming to me every four weeks, like I'm gonna, what do y'all, what are y'all doing? What is this? Mm-hmm. Facts. 
Y'all already going out till six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> now you trying to take my man for three or four days? What the hell? He ain't gotta come home now. He can call your number. He can stay out all I'm night. Like, it's not in a relationship at that. Nah, he stay out on the road. Hey, you gotta go home. You gotta go home. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to that. <laughs> I go home. That's, a, that's big trouble. Bro. Hey, yo, hold on. That's so, big trouble, bro. I guess um, for like the women's stance, that you have a problem if your girl wanted to break out on women's trip, girls' trip. Like, oh. I, I, I actually don't because I actually really trust her. Like, I I know nothing's happening. It's supposed to be I mean? all trust when you're in a relationship. Right. But but people have, Sky. <laughs> even even them, even though that well, you even trust, though that it's all trust. trust everybody else. Oh. Even though that is that is all trust when they know that they got an a, an attractive person like you know what I mean I was u- ugly now that I'm like semi cute it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like it's like it's like it's like now that now that um now that I graduated to like semi cute it's shit it's like graduated to I they don't want you to be without them you know what I mean they're like yeah yeah motherfucker he with me so they wanna they wanna give that off they don't wanna they want you to be free. For seventy two hours somewhere, that's too much. Ninety six hours, you bugging the fuck out. So I mean, <laughs> what kind of trip is this? A four day trip. That's the four day, the weekend. That's a four day trip. But yeah. Groupon, Groupon lit right now. Tell him she could go. She could go though. If my if my girl wanted to go with a couple of friends, she could go. I, I I wouldn't worry about that. To be honest with you, that's the way I feel too, I man. Go ahead, man. Enjoy it's yourself. Not. Because when I want to turn around, go on a trip, don't say nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want you to go away. Everybody should be able to enjoy their money. You ain't yeah. got to always bring me to have a good time. Or, yeah. you know, sometimes. Oh, yeah, for a bachelor party. Everybody have more fun with their friends at, at times. You know what I'm saying? It, it just is what it is. You, you know, need get, some you time. Yeah, it's, it's just a different, a different type of feel when you're I thought that's why you were staying away. out till 6 in the morning. Now you want to go away for <laughs> days. Get away from me. Like, right, yeah, I'm then we shouldn't be together. Yes, we, you just, I need a vacation from you sometimes. Yeah, what the, three days and you need a vacation sometime. from me as well. So I see we yeah. living so together. We always around each other. Go to your mom's house. My mother about to live in DR. Pull up and put the car like, Mama! <laughs> Madre! <laughs> oh, I cannot. Tanya, how you feel? Uh, girls trips, guys trips, man. Like, how many is allowed through the year? I know you I've go back to one had... of the countries. You fucking dickhead. Yeah, how'd you I go? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had somebody who wanted to do a guy's trip. I've always, every every person I've been with, uh, have always they've always wanted to go with me away. Like, I, I mean, if he wants to now... <sighs> He can go. Thank you. Yo, cheese, baby. <laughs> Listen, he can What's go. What's your boyfriend name? I'm going to say... What's that name? Cookie. So... <laughs> oh, God. Please don't fight. No. Uh, <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> Where we at, my nigga? <laughs> we hanging out tonight. Where we at <laughs> next week? Yo. Oh, oh, funny, I mean, he's right now at a party by himself with his friends running around frolicking. Last time I was here, he was at a party with his friends. My mom was calling him outside. Like, he goes out like he goes out with my best friend. The guy one. Like, they're fucking friends now. But, I mean, I've never been in a situation I can't honestly answer. I don't imagine myself getting mad. But, like. You can't be wanting to go every three months to your guys away. Y'all going away for unaccountable times, like, and then he don't post a lot, so I can't be able to monitor the shit. So like, ninety six <laughs> hours, it's like, there you go. Ninety six fucking hours, like I don't Dick see Tracy. nothing. I don't give a fuck. Like I need to see shit. Let me see a group shot. Come on. What about you though? What about you if you want to go away? It'd be all. Think it'd be all right with it. He, you go to your girl's trip. I am trip. going to a bachelor party next. Bachelorette? No, bachelor. Oh, I'm going to bachelor. shit. <laughs> so oh, your best friend? Boys. No, one of my homeboys getting married. One of my very, very close friends getting married next month. And he, are you going with him? Yeah, I'm going with the crew. No, you going with your man? No, I'm going by myself. Oh, I don't I'm know. I'm going by myself. With, with, cookie, now, call me. Now you're... <laughs> I'm about to say, now we need a cookie. Call oh, immediately. Cookie. <laughs> Get on line, my nigga. <laughs> but listen, the no people, <laughs> the people I'm going, my friends, and he's met them. Like they, we've all, like they've all have that. The, it's a open, like my, we're. He's met my friends before. It's people I'm going with, and it's like we're really, really close, really, really tight. And I'm one of the guys to them, so they invited me to the bachelor party. And we're gonna have fun and be late. But I told him we had a conversation. Be, I'm going. I'm letting you know from this time, this time, whatever, whatever. He was upset. Like he was sitting in the car quiet when I told him. But it's my friends. Like I'm not gonna not go because of you, nigga. We can't invite you because you're not, you're not one of the friends. Man. He had a lot of shit in his head. I the believe that. Man, I believe it. Shit. He was, he was, he was, he was, he was like it. 
would you invite him or would you not go? Like to me, well, I would be it's like, not. I, don't I, go. I can't invite him because it's not on me. It's not my bachelor party, so that's kind of like it, that's kind of rude for me to like. Oh well, my man is not comfortable, so can he come along and stay in the room with me? But for but you most, ain't staying in the room with them, right? I'm not. That's the room by myself. I'm by yeah, myself. so you make a come. Listen, but it's Cookie, not my get trip. Line. <laughs> it's not my trip. I can't. I don't feel like I don't want to be that person. That's like, a good excuse to leave him home. That's a good excuse. You dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my trips. It's not on me to be the person that will. My boyfriend got security issues. So he he got to come with me. But for the most part, these are also my friends that are like this. I'm. This is the type of friend that if I'm in a jam, like they will pay my fucking rent. So I can't be. It's it's a hell. It's yeah, once again. I have, I have. I have. <laughs> got friends that pay your motherfucking rent. You, I be in the gym every other month. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> like you. I mean, like I don't know. Like I've always been very open with my friendships. Anybody coming in my life, they meet my friends. Like the people I consider friends or family. Like today, tomorrow, if he cookie goes a separate way. These meet the motherfuckers still here. Down. They gonna be here still holding me down. So I can't. I can't like. Put one above the other. We just have to come to our mutual understanding. At the end of the day, just fucking trust me. I'm just going in and have fun to kick out with my friends. I could be here and still cheat on you, motherfucker. So it doesn't mean that's what I be hard. saying it about the trips. It don't matter. It don't matter where you are. It is, if, if I'm going to cheat on you, I can come in five, six in the morning, spend night at my friend's house. But it's, it's not <laughs> about that. I might as well get on these roads. Like if you took if you took it that far to live with somebody, it's about respect. So oh, I can't yeah. take a vacation. E-C-T. It boils Next down time to that. Why, why can't you take a vacation? Huh? Y'all live though? together? No, we don't. Okay, so then that's, that's different. different. They still in a girlfriend boyfriend phase. Once I live together, then I, I love, need to take my trip. That's a whole. Yes. What? I gotta get away from you. Then you what? Mm-hmm. You can go to your mom's house. Go to the next room. Yeah. Let's get to the next topic. All right, this is another three hundred three. We want to talk dating three hundred three kids. Or no kids? Mm. Would you date a person with kids? If yes, what would the limit be? And if no, why not? So we start that way. Okay. Oh yeah, you want to yeah, start? start? Come on, we can just. I have jump a kid. Around. So you have kid? I have one child. Oh. <laughs> so I wouldn't have a problem dating somebody with kids. I think as long as you take How care many? of your kids, it does, it's no limit on it. I think you go flavor flav, nigga about fifteen. <laughs> See, that's what I say. Flavor flav got about fifteen. I think as long as you take care of your kids, because you oh. got one kid and be a deadbeat, and it's like you can never do anything for me if you can't take care of your kid. As long as you're responsible and you spend the time with your kids and you take care of them, I don't see that that being a problem with me getting to know you. Like, why is it because you have a child I can't know you? Because sometimes it could be a red flag saying like, if you got, if you I uh, say you you just do it to me, all right, boom, I got six kids, five baby mothers. You still gonna look at me the same? Look what I'm doing. No. It's a pattern. <laughs> yep. I got six kids, five baby mothers. You're going to be like, uh, yeah, Pookie's yes. still nice. <laughs> <laughs> cool. like, we can hang out I'm saying, but when you want to really get to know me, that's why I said, is it a limit? Is it a limit on the baby mothers? Baby, I know it's a limit. That definitely for me, I'm not going to be looking at you like, like I said, if your stats is like that, it's not something always wrong with the nigga. It got to be something wrong with the chick then. That's not true. That's if not you true. three for three, I'm not. You ain't gonna be Fast. four for me. It's Fast. over. Fast. It's over. You three but kids you and three baby fathers. Like and why did all three leave? Exactly. Right. I got a lot of questions. Exactly. Fast. Exactly. Three. They, three oh, everybody three broke left? out. And don't let them be cooking, cleaning. You put on your little freaking well, dress. You did all this. She's just picking the wrong types of people. You might. Well, I'm so trying to hear that. Don't try that. to. Don't try to fix life now. Don't get right with me. I ain't Mister Right. Don't try to fix life. My do. My maxes. My maxes. Too, G. I ain't doing no more than two. And it depends on how old and how big they feet is. That's it. Cause, yeah. Cause Jordan's Jordan's is two fifty three hundred right now. Resell like four fifty, man. Them little it's, niggas be pointing at the TV listen, all day. Listen, man, I, I can't. I, I ain't even doing it, man. I will be honest. I'm happy the person I'm with. But what if she's like kids. a dope person? She take care of her kids. She do what she's supposed to do. Like if, you got to wait. That's options. the case, and she has One. my drip. But before I met my fiance, my dream was if I wasn't messing with a girl with a kid, it has to be one. And I'd rather it be a son, a little smooth dog, go play basketball with. That was how my little girl. Go, go. Oh, I get a ball. I would bust somebody ass, bust a little ass, bust a little nigga ass. So you know what I mean. Then I started meeting everyone, and everyone just had, you know, just being single for so long. Everyone I met just. The numbers are just twos and threes and fours. <laughs> and Ray Ray and Ray Ray Jr. Guys. and then twins. And then I'm seeing, you know, as you slide on Facebook, it's this picture, this picture, <laughs> that family group shot. <laughs> Who kids 
of those. Like, you know what I mean? And then you got to deal with, because you're not just dating them. You're dating them. You're dating the baby fathers. And it's no, like, that's not true. That's definitely not true. If I'm in a relationship with somebody, that has nothing to do with Listen, you father. cannot control well, the, baby the, the baby father. <laughs> that's one of the best baby situations father. right now. The baby they slide right in. Yo, <laughs> no, dude, Jody. Dude get jealous. Jody. You <laughs> get jealous fast. Yeah, yeah I know you're going to come the, home late something down. I seen the dude from my hood, dog. And his shorty just started, you know, playing around in the in the streets. She had his son on the next man lap. What's he oh, doing? Wow. And not, they wasn't even they wasn't even long term dating. They was just fucking. In the future, other I niggas playing you, football you with your son. <laughs> yo, my dude, I'm slapping somebody head off. So I'm already knowing how how the baby how the baby father thinking. And then I'm flying them. I'm, I'm probably in better shape. It's, just, it's gonna be sad. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? He probably yeah, watched the podcast. You, you know what I mean? He don't want to comment anymore. This shit is crazy. You understand? <laughs> I just, it's too much drama associated with dating with multiple kids and multiple baby Sky, fathers is all I'm saying. Um, I dated one person and one child and I can't do it. I'm going to be honest with you. It was not in me. I couldn't do it. So you could no longer I, date I'm a person a with a slate, kid. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody that's Same. just like me. That's all. Like, so if I had a child, I would date somebody with one child. But yeah. I feel like they should be at the level you're at. You shouldn't accept any more bags than what you got. So if I'm a clean slate, I got this. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I shouldn't have to. Cause just because you don't have kids, I mean, you ain't got no bags. A, you have a lot of shit with you. No, I mean, fuck. <laughs> 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 bro. No, I just checked. There's going to be a lot of shit going on with you. Like, just because you ain't got kids don't mean you in the best position that somebody with a kid. <laughs> But my no, thing but is, a kid is a yeah, bottom like, like that's yeah, that's girls with no first, kids, bad credit, no, no job, fucked is, up. So you can fix those yeah. things. That kid permanent, nigga. Yeah, like, that kid permanent. Like, he's just gonna keep growing. But here, now, if you take it to the fire house and we fire the station, the weird part. no. Here was the weird part. It was that oh. one time he, I guess he was with with the child, and she mistake mistakenly called me mommy on the phone oh, like, oh. because clearly she talked to her mom so she just automatically thought that you know and it weirded, woman me, voice it, and it weirded me out so much you know as a person just because I feel like especially a little girl or a child like they should have that bond with their parents as a unit in my mm-hmm. mind and yeah. I grew up like that so it was like alright no I don't even want to touch that I don't even want to beast that mommy I don't want to be none of that <laughs> I'll just you know try to create my own that's it like that's how I feel unless it happens yeah. and then then I'll go from there. But for right now, yeah, nah. China, hold on. <laughs> She's like, yeah, 20 kids. <laughs> How many kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, country, it takes a village. Time, like, for, for a long time, for a long time, I've always preferred. People always found me weird. I preferred guys with kids. Cookie got kids? Cookie has no kids. Oh, okay. So then... Why y'all call him Cookie? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the name. Yeah, yeah. yeah young sushi cookie. <laughs> sushi cookie. <laughs> Listen, like, he has no kids. Um, but I've always, I've always preferred guys with kids. But I had a reason. The reason is I'm not oh, ready sure. immediately to have kids right now. Mm-hmm. And you find people my age coming late twenties, going into thirties, if they have no children, they start going into that. Well, I'm losing numbers. Let me have a kid now. And I know to myself, I'm not ready. I don't want it. I don't want to get in a relationship and tie up myself with somebody and know to myself I'm not ready to take that step. Like it don't make no sense. So for men with kids, for me, was better. I'm like, right, you have your one. Probably a two. You're not gonna pressure me because you already have something going right. on. You, you don't feel that void. Um, but so I never minded children. I also like kids. Like I think kids are such a blessing. Like I'm a. I love kids, but I'm not somebody who you got a kid. Oh my god, I want to meet them. Like it has to some something natural. that grow. It has to grow naturally. I mean, and then I had one. Be you I don't believe in that. Also, like not because you have a kid is they should be meeting every single person mm-hmm. you date. Like no. introducing those energies to your kids. Like you just don't want to see the like. You know, people coming in and out of your kids' lives like this, 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 this. So much rules when it like, comes to them. Every day, yeah. Like, she got a lot of I cousins mean, and but, uncles. But, but you know what I find? You know what I find crazy, right? It's like when a when a female have a kid or kids, right? She's 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 banking on and hoping on and speaking on uh, a, a good man coming into her life and you know helping her rescue her, her. her situation, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Same chick finds out a dude have a few kids 
And it's like, uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-hmm. Like, mm uh-uh. He got a couple kids, girl, uh uh-uh. uh. He got a couple baby mamas, uh uh-uh. uh. I like, mean, I think I'm crazier than men, and he has baby mama. <laughs> I mean, not for nothing. I also grew up in the Caribbean, so we, York, typically people have large families. Mm-hmm. Like, by the time my stepmother was with my dad, my dad had five kids. You know, like, it's it's a different cultural thing from America and then back home. And they also, got mad I have different a, families and stuff. Yeah, right? like, people that have mixed families, three different baby mothers. Like, but we you never from had the main no drama. family or from the side family? <laughs> like, I'm from the main motherfucking family. <laughs> 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 Then my daddy go to the other house. And then I think another reason why I'm not averse to having kids is because I my, I spent my entire life with my stepmom and she loved me so beautifully. Say hi, mommy. I love you. She's on my page. Um, I, I call her mommy. Like that was kind of an issue, but I, she was with me since I was two, and she raised me until I was yeah, exactly. in my teens. I love this woman so much, and she didn't have to love me. You know, she didn't have to be responsible for me. I'm not her blood. She didn't push me out. She could have been one of those, like, well, it's not my kid, not my problem. But she didn't. She loved me like I was her blood. And if you talk to my mother today, my mother would be like, I can't hit your stepmother. As much as between stepmother, dad, mom, it was a little friction there. It was, you know, somebody left somebody for somebody else. I never knew that. I never got that vibe. There was no animosity between the people raising me. There was none of that so baby mama drama. Mm-hmm. I don't, I didn't, I, I never felt that. So that's why for me, like, kids were never, like, I, I it's you from the door for me. Like, I'm always open to kids because somebody loved me when they didn't have to love me. Nah, you know? So, so it's like, I don't... It's I like got that. Doing. <laughs> <laughs> no! But, and I know baby mama drama until I got older. Like, I got... I had the whole light skin, dark skin mother thing. I was going to school. I got two mothers and all that shit. And so I got older. It was like, wait, that's an issue? Like, people really don't like people with other kids and mixed families and stuff? I don't I don't think people don't like other people with kids. It's like, what type of kid do you have? Is he doing good in school? <laughs> <laughs> Some of little kids are bad, man. Yeah, you, get, you got a bad little kid. His father got to come in. Must because if know. I'm dating you and you got kids and you don't mind me taking... Listen, if I'm dating a girl and she has kids and she don't mind me taking her kid to Disney World, she don't mind me buying him Jordan. You can't You can't mind me slap the shit out of me while out there. You, gotta fuck him you up. can't say, don't touch my kid. Whoa, he, he wasn't your kid with Disney. Disney had to go. And I put the little, I put the little ends on that little nigga. <laughs> Like, when Mickey Mouse would take that bitch. Huh? She should be there to discipline her child. You shouldn't have to do it. It's, some, it's, it's something, yeah, it's something gotta, a man uh, has exactly. to do. Man and if you want it. me to come into his life and play that role in any aspect, yeah. it comes with the full I package. Said, no, You're not going to give me some of it. Hold on, time out, time out. You're not going to invite me to dinner and just give me collard greens, okay? Sorry. I'm going to get some steak. I'm going to get some steak. My dad. No niggas is telling niggas. You ain't my daddy. Nigga, fuck up Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got what was after that. Expect if you got on the Jordans. A pistol with <laughs> 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 well, a pistol with gun button or something, man. This nigga's all this shit. Got a gun button or something. Yeah, son of a slap. My stepmother disciplined me. She wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't child abuse, but she still, she still disciplined me because that was my mom. Like, she took on the full responsibility of making sure. She hit you with the sugar cane? She hit you with the sugar cane? I don't think so. I got, I mean, I was a bad kid. Nobody need a full whipping. Some type of discipline. Yeah, yeah, yoked up with something, man. Strong on gravity. You gotta get an age. Nah, wriggle nigga shirt. Yo, it means a lot when a grown man wrinkles your shirt and can't do nothing. You stand there like this. You know what I mean? Shut the fuck up, little nigga. If I fuck you and your daddy up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I came from a mixed family. I grew up in a mixed family, so I'm not like. From the door, I'm not like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Like, I, if it, I go into it and then shit start going crazy, well, then I'm exiting. But I don't like say, oh, you got kids and I fuck out of here. All right, well, let's get to the next part. Would you consider someone with no kids at a certain age a red flag? <laughs> mm, that was so a good turn That was a good turn around <laughs> Fuck flex <laughs> Drop the bomb <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do <laughs> Now nah, let's go That shit is a red flag that At what shit. age? Alright you mm, Alright American now You getting up there get you ain't got no kids yeah, son. Cookie red flag <laughs> Wait how old are you? I'm we- 20. <laughs> oh, 20, no, 28 I'm still getting my life together. Nah, your ovaries is just shit is Fuck out of here. Nah, 34 is like the you, cutoff age. Yeah, once you start getting to 35, so. coming well, into now, 40. I'm but high risk after 34. It depends what you got yeah. going on in your life also. Like, you are you, risk. you know, are you established by the time you're 35 and still running away from the idea of kids? Like, like for me, that's somebody who doesn't want to grow up. Like they mentally. Everybody doesn't want to have kids. So you can't call people immature that's for not wanting to have kids. That's true. Some people just know what they want, and right. that's good. They might if not you be good don't parents. want kids, period, and you state it, I can't be mad at you. But there's some people who want kids, and then they start coming into crazy numbers, 35, 40. All right, were you in this time 
trying to get your career together? Were you trying to be a doctor who's working in different countries and kids would have been a problem? Were you studying and kids would have been a problem? Were you trying to launch your career as an artist and kids would have been a problem with the touring and stuff? I could understand somebody delaying it because they want to fix certain things together. Or, but if you got nothing going on in your fucking life... Or because they want to have it a certain way. That too. You want to set your life up because... Some have it a certain way. You want to set your life up because you want to have your kids to be comfortable. I'm okay with you delaying having kids. But if nothing going on, you just there like... <laughs> Like you not doing anything? Why the fuck are you trying to? And you and you want what kids? Like what are you waiting for? Sometimes people are waiting for the highest bidder that's never coming. <laughs> this is a part of the imaginary standards that everyone have. True. How they deserve? How they not gonna settle? This is everyone's lines now. They're not gonna settle for whatever. <laughs> you shouldn't have right. to settle. Though. You want... shouldn't have to settle. But whatever you claiming, you're not settling for. If that's the only thing coming, that's what you worth. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. Broke people do not walk into Mercedes Benz. I promise you, they don't walk in it. They they know that's not butter. They told me I could. Listen, I walk right by them and the went right back. <laughs> Where the key at? I'm, yeah. just, I'm just I'm just I'm just saying. So people got to stop. I feel like it'll be more marriages and way more. Cause someone tried to tell me the other day. Sorry, just a quick little story. Somebody someone tried to tell me the uh, the other day that that people like uh, uh, your financial freedom would not determine how interested someone is in you. And I said, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it, yes, does. it does. Because if I can't take you out to eat because I'm paying all, all these bills, you're going to be like, I ain't fuck with this dude. Exactly. So I say that. If if finances wasn't factored in, it will be so much more relationships and marriages and everything else because we wouldn't be worried about, about money. Yeah. So a lot of people don't have kids because they're still hoeing. They're, they're hoeing looking for the biggest bidder and everyone is the same person that, they were, that they're that they attracting. Yeah. And they don't understand. That's all you're worth. You're yeah. not getting no one else. Bill Cosby and all them motherfuckers is not coming. Bill Cosby, Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby, Cosby might all, come, nigga. Jamie Foxx, <laughs> they, they are skipping you, sis. They are skipping you. You go to all those parties trying to get online, do the dance, do the tissue roll. They don't want you. You Man. understand? You might as well settle for Ray Ray. And that's it. Go you know home, what I mean? sis. Go home. That's well, go, you, go home. If you want somebody, then you have to make yourself be that person. Like, you can't expect somebody that's rich and well put together and this and that, and you a bum. Uh, you facts. Have to Cinderella. Put yourself up to, no. <laughs> Somebody found a little Hirachi that you left. <laughs> <laughs> that you left in the party that you done ran out when your girl just getting jumped the you ran left the, yeah, the left the harassi you had to go catch your girls getting jumped and nigga come high find you down and shit you know what I'm saying but how do you feel about that uh, at a certain age do you think um somebody's a red flag with no kids again you gotta get to know the person because if you had several girlfriends several relationships and you don't have kids it's like and you wanted kids you? right right what, what's your problem low now, sperm count saying, Oh Tarzan drawers, if smoke say, mad weed, niggas I've like that. I've been working, I've been wanting to establish myself so that I can give my kids the life. That's different. But if you just out here and you don't have no kids, it's like, all right, something might be wrong. No with you. kids, no marriage, no girlfriend, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. no nothing. Like, even gay people have kids. So I, that's that's not even an excuse now. That's true. Niggas sperm, these niggas dick just go. But you, you, you got. They probably wanted kids, and the person that they wanted with was like, "Nah, you line me up. Now nah, I'm good." She probably popped the con. What, what, whatever. You never know what it is. Cause yeah, abortion, okay. abortion is not always the the person don't want the actual kid. You know, a, a kid is a kid is on both that's sides. Okay, right? You know, it gotta be on both sides. It can't just be you setting them up, giving them a whole bottle of honey. Here, baby, drink one more cup, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you fucking pregnant, and now that's you takes, you, you expect him to say, <laughs> "All right." And when you have a kid, you have a kid with that person's entire family. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. like, oh, me and you have a kid, that's it. So some people, I don't know, I guess they look at their options or they look what they have. But I think if you have a reason why you don't have kids, like a legit reason, like I can get my life together or I came from a broken family, I want to make sure I do it right, mm-hmm. that's cool. But if you just like, yeah, I got a girlfriend over here and I was married to this one out and like you shooting blanks or nobody likes you. That's a fact. And then, like, a lot of people, like, used to shooting blanks. He would really have issues having kids. Some people don't even want to go check that out. I never understand people that was like, yeah, we trying to have a kid. Like, yeah, I mean, time you I have to try. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, you know what? Two shots of Henny, kids a lot of coming. women and men, like, in terms of ha- trying to have a kid, what I realize is that it's about fertil- fertility. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, uh, like, I might be only fertile in December and Ju- June. 
as far mm-hmm. as like being able to get pregnant, being able to carry a child, being able mm-hmm. to get to that term where it's like, oh, I'm pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you learn your body. A lot of women don't know their body just mm-hmm. as much as men. That's don't what know niggas with selective sperm. You so, gotta mess with super yes, sperm dudes. Some women are just very fertile and can have kids <laughs> yeah. whenever. But yeah, yeah you tongue kiss some of these Spanish girls. They already right. pregnant. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one shot of Hennessy. Some of these Spaniards don't girls. put too much water on your crops, baby. What the fuck? <laughs> Some of these, it's all Spanish. The Spaniards. Yeah. The Spaniards give you tongue kissing. Maria yeah. pregnant. <laughs> nah. How do you know? I know. I, I, know. I know already. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we gonna get to the next part. <laughs> we gonna get to the next part. Uh, what are the pros and cons of dealing with a single mother, a single father? <laughs> pros and cons. Pros, they, they I ain't gotta pop out. no fucking baby out no time soon. Yes, Ooh. because I don't have to pop a baby out anytime soon. Because he already has a kid and he's already trying to get it together. The con is if he has drama with him. Because I've dated guys who've had kids and there was no drama. I've Besides the baby mama, baby daddy drama. Never had that's that's number one. Everybody know that shit. Besides that, what are the pros and cons? I got I got one that's serious. I know you got like, one. You I, 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 uh, you, the, you con, the con is like, depending on how the person is. Get some is, pros, man. Fuck the, the pro is I don't gotta pop a baby out if I'm dealing with him. Oh, okay, you get to save your little snack. I get to, I, you know, I get to delay myself a little bit more. Um, the pro the is I'm as a kid, so Flat I get tummy to. Tea. Fuck you get to steal the sip. Belly <laughs> <laughs> um, another 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 pro for me is like I like kids, so I get to enjoy having kids around me. You know, like I, I like seriously, kids are a blessing to me. The con is just like just the drama, and also you can get you can also get like a no. I got a something with you can say I want to do something tonight or I want to do something now. It's feeling, it's feeling spontaneous. The kid can come in the way of that. And something that you just get your heart set on going out. You baby want to do something bad. Like, I ain't got no babysitter. The, the kid is here by the mother. Man, I got him for the weekend. Fellas, like, pay for the babysitter if you want to fuck the same night. Yeah. <laughs> so fat. The con is the kid He's is such old. a gentleman. Okay, the con is the, not as bad, but the kid is always a consideration always whenever you want to do stuff. They're always a consideration. Yeah. There's yeah. no way around it. I mean, I won't want nobody to put me above their child if I'm dating them, but right. it's just like you don't have that freedom to be like, come over now. He's like, all right, I'm on my way. He's like, no, I got little Ray Ray, and he got homework and shit, so. Right. <laughs> Biggie Black, I, 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 what you that, got? That's a big thing. What's what you the just said is, is the actual... Where do you where do you come? Well, like with, with, you come second with someone that you don't you don't even come second to yeah, be honest. No, because, you gotta think about it: yeah. child, baby, father, family, herself. Yeah. Then you fifth, sixth on the list, my I G. Work. You start. You start. You know what I mean? Work. Yeah. Think about it. I can't do All that. I need I need to be number two. You you don't come before none of them people. The the but child, the single person, if that's the baby the case, father, that's true. the the single person gonna put you in the one. You single. You need a man. You <laughs> die to break. Uh, mommy wants some grandbabies so bad. You like Bobby? I got black to say. He got little muscles and everything. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so listen. So listen. I think I think it's 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 two things. When you come on the actual list, as far as importance i can't deal with being number five or six that's crazy you know what i mean i gotta that's be number far. one or two that's, that's way too far i'd rather down. be number two i'm the Facts. first loser that's that's, that's way child, too far down and if i'm with someone and i know we're supposed to do something we're gonna do it like i'm gonna make my schedule to where you fit into that schedule um, emergencies happen with everybody with but kids it's not like oh because i have a kid my mother comes first my father comes first my kid my kid's father that's not true my kid comes first, yes, but you know how to schedule, right? If you really like a person, you really with them, you really gonna make time for them, you make it work. I don't think that people family, like, that's that's crazy. Erica that's just want y'all to DM her. Go ahead, y'all. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> she mad safe, man. I'm in a jail right now. I'm in a jail. We got hey, you, sis. Go, right. <laughs> so listen. Run down, run down. The second thing is this, and this is this is a real game a pro changer. Con. It's This is a con. Okay. Because... Once they have kids or kids, right? A a kid or kids, then they don't want to have no more kids. Mm-hmm. They give mm-hmm. you a time frame. I don't want to have kids anymore for the next five years, six mm-hmm. years, ten years. So now it's like, damn, I'm stuck raising the next man kids, investing to the next own. man kid. You won't get. You won't even give me my own. Listen, he left. You, you should, can change you that should, quick. All you, you gotta do is me. You make her wife and so she so have a baby for you. So for you, what she I like, to. you don't like. I like that they're delaying it. You don't like. That I don't like that because I still want my marry I, her. I, I don't mind raising her. If you marry her, I still. That's sometimes that don't matter. A chick want her body. You know how hard it is to bounce back. Pay for Go it. Go to Dior with him. 
pay for. That girl, you right. <laughs> with this boy strip. He, he, he ain't invite you. Come to nah. DR, baby. Now she gonna lay on the table. I'm gonna lay on the beach. <laughs> but, that, but that to me is big. That to me is big because sometimes a dude, a dude want to have a kid with you too, and he shouldn't be penalized for your ex that end up leaving. Now you, you know what I mean? That that. But just that, that's that's when you had to establish shit from the door. Like when you get to know somebody, let them. They need to let you know what it is their idea of a family. Like what what's their people let like, their timeline. I had a kid. I'm not ready anytime soon. You know. All right. Well, I want a kid soon. They don't want. You know what? I break that shit up. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a you fact. Because I want kids. No I'm trying kids to splash. Like, I don't have kids like I'm that. shooting up the kids. club. It's a fact. I mean, yeah, Scott, what you I don't feel? have. I, I really don't have any pros or cons because I wouldn't be dating. <laughs> <laughs> Scott is mad. I haven't um, even thought about that? it. To She's be segregating. Honest. I'm not. I'm not. I'm very pro everything. However, you're not pro baby however, daddy. However, I just don't. I don't even like the term. Um. At man all. with a kid. I don't even like the term baby daddy. You're to be pro honest. man with a child. Huh? I'm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, on top of me having to build a relationship with another woman who wouldn't be in my life otherwise, right? Which mm-hmm. is the mother of that child. I would never. I can't duplicate that. That creation, like I can't. Yes, you can. You get pregnant too. No, but, now we but all gotta share this, nigga. A, y'all have a bond <laughs> that I could never duplicate. That's not true. That's not true. Just it, have a baby. No, 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 no. But I, I, I understand what you're saying. I'm talking about that kid is your kid with him forever. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Whether I'm the stepmom or not, like That's a fact. that is y'all yeah. procreation. I can't duplicate that. So the selfish part of me, because I'm a very selfish person when it comes to that, <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm okay with that just because. I don't even, I can't duplicate that. And I just want, you know, I want, I'm selfish. Like, I don't mm. even want to dabble in something like that because I can't duplicate it. So, what's right. the point? That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So, no, no, yeah. And you don't want to <laughs> fight no baby mamas. Anymore. And I don't, and I don't want to fight. Damn. <laughs> baby that drama is not Unless always there. I have never. It's not facts. always. Look how. I've never had it. I've never had it. I mean, Erica had, had some baby mama drama. Right. You had a <laughs> lot of drama. Child, my she child's did? father. Yeah. He don't watch so let me, tell you, let me tell you what happened. It's three. <laughs> it's it's three different ba- baby mamas. Who to do with the they, suit? Listen, I, hold on. Listen to me. Listen. It's three different baby mamas. And what's... What's happening, they're trying to separate themselves with titles. So one tried to pretend as if she was married. And then they found out that she wasn't married. So it's like, she tried to say she's not married because she's trying to save the bag. We trying to figure out what the bag is. So it was a lot of confusion going on. As if people had real estate. They always, they always wear the little pinstripe suits and all that, the cornrows. That's, that's the, the mother. That's the mo- That's the grandmother. That's his first huh? grandmother. That's that's the oh, grandmother. Oh, his mother. You thought she was that's the grandmother. That's the grandmother. Oh. <laughs> but I can tell you, me and Samantha. She be talking gangster. Samantha is the first child's mother. We've hung out. Yes. And there was no. Wait, three like, for three. No, cool. yeah, like they're he three for three. They're cool. <laughs> My son putting that work in, putting that pain in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's four for three. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. Shout out but to homie. It's, it's a stat right now. Bitch. <laughs> 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 I said shoot it, sir. Let that legacy go. Go ahead. Go ahead. So like, there's no blood between her and Sam. Right. Who's the first? Gotcha. Who's Sam? That's the first. That's the first ba- mother. baby mother. Oh, she and Yandy is a third. Sam's so, Yandy's like, the Yandy, the Yandy, pretend Yandy, married you know, one, right? We don't know who's hotter. I'm gonna do a. Uh, I'm gonna post it. On Yandy's Instagram, the one that's married. Screen. Of all three so who was pretend really married, married? Not married. Somebody's Yandy pretend married. Yandy was pretend married. She's pretend married. Pretend I thought she married. married. They never no. signed. They never signed the actual license. Oh, that's because she crazy. said she wanted to protect the bag. See, that's what I. This they, is what I don't like. Commonwealth marriage. Gonna, if y'all gonna pretend married, that's fine. To me, that's nobody's business. If you want to say, "Hey, I'm married to this person," that's your business. But don't say you're not married because of me. Like they blaming you? To make it seem like yeah, they were if, not married because As if she was going to get some money. The drama. Like, the drama. You got to be out of your mind. Nobody ever took him for child support. He takes care of his kids. So nobody's even on his back about that. So he not we on the papers? We take care of our kids. So he not on no papers? Said, he's not on any type of papers when it comes to his child support. So That's what's up. Why are you placing blame on everybody? You didn't get married. Oh, it's their fault. You're unhappy. Oh, it's their fault. Like, we had nothing to do with nothing. Since you're you the problem, there. moving on. Right. <laughs> hey. Since you're the problem, sis. You don't see that you're the problem? Since you're the problem. Well, damn, man. <laughs> so, right. what's He's the bag that, that she was protecting? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, 
I got to. <laughs> I, I tried to Google it. I think. All I remember was the one with the piss strike. She like one of the villains from a fucking movie or some shit. <laughs> she, she got like cornrows in it. She's like, 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 we we'll get to the next. I mean, let me get to the uh, the final topic. You know, this is a good topic. Like you said, this was a uh, it's a good topic. Weave wigs versus natural hair. <laughs> oh, shout out to Curl Fest. That was yesterday in Brooklyn. Shout out to I Curl went. Fest. All the Afro centric <laughs> beautiful women in out the there. Well, she is at Curl Fest. I saw her. <laughs> yeah, she was there. That's I why I had. That's why I had all crinkly. She was representing. <laughs> you know, curly natural girls out there. Shout out um, to you. That was dope. Black I'm girl also, magic. Uh, yeah, Fuck that package up. <laughs> but uh, I right, the first, like I said, the topic is weed wigs versus natural hair. So the first question, uh, who was more confident, the natural girl or the girl with the weave wig? And do you feel self esteem plays a part of the woman's hair? That's a loaded question. Yeah. That is such that's a loaded a, fucking a question. question. Who's more confident and does self esteem play? A part in what you do with your head. The person who is more confident is the person who's just confidence in them fucking selves. No matter what is on their head. I don't believe that. No matter what. No. You could be. You could feel you more confident because you put a wig on your head. That that makes you kind of self confident. But that's the person. You need to add it. To you don't listen. You like confidence, it's a people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go, black girl. Right. Back up, just that. Black girl magic. Listen, listen. listen. What you speaking from? What side you from? A girl, from? like with the big I, side or the, or the natural first side. First of all, I do both, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> what, what side you speaking I from now? Like, y'all yeah, seen my afro, and the reason I'm wearing wigs right now is because I had a bad haircut. I'm not wearing because I got a seam issues. We didn't say that. Speak on it. But. People wear weaves for different reasons. People Absolutely. don't wear weaves for different reasons. You can't paint everybody with a broad brush. You can't say, oh, you were in a wig. I know if you didn't have a wig on, you won't feel confident with your natural hair. There's some people who have hair diseases. Alopecia is a real thing. I mean, that, that's I got alopecia. <laughs> but there are people who, like, their life is so busy that it's like, I ain't got time with all the curling, the smoothing, the wash and go, and the thing, and I gotta wait for it to dry. Like, you just wanna get up and just go in the morning. Put a fucking wig on and run out the house. It's not even about how I feel or look in the mirror. Like, sometimes you just got shit to fucking do, and it's just a, a, it's a grab and go. Some people wanna like switch their look up. up man. Some people just two wanna... different women to me. <laughs> That's nasty. Nice. <laughs> I mean, some some want to switch it up, so you can't. People wear people wear their hair different ways for different reasons. You gotta establish why the person wants to wear a wig. Are you wearing a wig because you don't like your natural hair? That's a different issue. Are you wearing a wig because you got a bad haircut? That's a different issue. Right. Are you wearing a wig because you want to grow your natural hair? I don't want right. to expose it to the elements. Because if girls who are natural will tell you, one, that shit is expensive as crazy. fuck. That shit is expensive as you spend ho- literally hundreds of dollars on hair care products alone. And then the regime. And then certain things got to do once a week, Time and then once a man. month, and then that shit takes an hour to two hours to well, get I'm done. Good days like when it's when a, you just get the little afro sheen and the pick and just call it a day. Listen to me. <laughs> that could be a maybe the look doesn't look right in the person. There's so many things that you gotta consider when you, you like talk about afro. the weed. Yeah, I, I love I think, my afro. Tanya, I think, I think you're you're kind of getting away from what Lai is saying. Mm-hmm. What Lai is saying is that there is a a, a, a large a, a portion of females that only feel sexy or beautiful that only feel sexy and beautiful when they put on the wig or the the uh the eight hundred dollar bundle for they could say you can't even spell prog 32 <laughs> inches you know what I mean? that, that is like, a, that's yeah. a different that, you know that, that I mean? is so, definitely so, a self-esteem well, well, issue what we say it, it is some people that only feel beautiful with that like uh, let me and and and, the, and one of the reasons mm-hmm. that i dislike is because i know it's rooted in there's a certain standard of beauty that has been set mm-hmm. that is not realistic there's a standard of beauty that has been fucking set that lets you think that long black Becky hair is what people like to see. If you Google professional hair, Google unprofessional hair, look at the pictures that come up. That's like a deep rooted issue, but we get that. I don't want to get into that, but no, yes, they're girls. Because they, they kind of been like, they said dreadlocks is kind of unprofessional now. They, uh, why you think is that? That's what I'm saying. It's the standard of beauty that like, has been you set. Look, people right now, dreadlocks. Everybody wants dreadlocks. Everybody. Every, Again, the false locks. False locks is a fucking epidemic right now. First and they of pull all. Your hair out. Full lock. They pull your hair out. Oh my god. If you don't know how to do it. It's so bad. 
Sorry. You had four locks? No, I didn't have them. I wanted them, but I just couldn't. You want to save I your hair? I, I tried the big the big braids, and they were, first of all, wait, wait, I had a Wait, answer the question before we go to the Wait, the poetic justice shit is in, is in style, like, too. Yes, and they, Yeah, okay. and they got wigs like that, too, so, with the little... Get the fuck out of no, here. Yeah, with the, the baby hair, you put that shit right on. If anybody ever wears a fucking wig with braids... If a dude, you put it with the baby hair, it'd be liquid right here on if anyone wears braids as a wig, I will judge the fuck out. You will snatch that shit off. Yo, sometimes don't, that should be don't lit. Don't this no, it's never lit. I don't seen disrespect the braid. I didn't even know what like, had. I didn't even know. I hate that <laughs> shit. I hate a wig of braids. Like, why are you so fucking disrespectful, yo? Wow. All right, hold on, hold on. All right. Wait, girl. Let me get to these girls over okay. here. <laughs> you want to go first? You remember the question? Yeah, uh, it was all. Uh, Repeat it. Who is more weight. confident, the natural girl? The girl with the weave, and do you feel self esteem plays a part? Self esteem plays closer. the biggest part. Like, if your self esteem is who's more confident? Sea level, you're not gonna be confident with long hair or short hair. Now, what he was saying, Ooh, I get you. You try to drop a bomb right there, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are some women who live in a weave or a wig. Like, exactly. she will not take it off. She will not show you what she looks like. She cannot function without this hair. I think that is self esteem. And she's not confident. It's not confident at all. At all. There you and go. Now, those women, I believe, like, it's not confidence. Now, there are some women that'll be like, yeah, I got a wig on today. I'm going to go short tomorrow. I'm going to go natural on Wednesday. I'm going to be blonde today. I'm going to be green tomorrow. That's mm. me. But if I take my weave out, I'm still the same person. Like, mm-hmm. I don't. It doesn't matter. That's not true. You might look like Cleo underneath <laughs> that <laughs> shit. Stop. 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 Like Cleo who said it all. And, and that's a, with the me. Weave. Wait. Wait, 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 we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Hold Damn. on. I knew we was going to get to that. I knew that was going to get to that. I knew ready to break it down. Yes, go ahead. Um, okay, that. so personally, I've actually only had a weave, which was a sewing three tracks in eighth grade because I wanted my hair to look a little longer. And it literally gave me a dead section in the middle of my head. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, and I had that dead section for like five, four years to, to grow mm-hmm. back. Ever since, I've been natural since I was 18. You had like cradle crap? Like I've been, crap. <laughs> I've been natural since I was 18. I've been 100% natural, no color, no dye, no nothing, because that's what I wow. consider natural. Mm-hmm. Natural well, girl. Since I was 20, so Curl it's seven fest. years now, okay? Shea now, butter. I feel like, personally, it has not so much to do with self-esteem because I actually feel like wearing your hair natural makes you more self-conscious. And I say that because you have to get adjusted to the curls. You have to get adjusted to me walking on a train with this and people not associating me with a certain race. You got to get adjusted mm-hmm. to certain things. Oh, if yes. I wear my hair back in a ponytail, people think I'm Spanish. They think they could think I'm whatever. They don't know what I am. When I wear my hair like this, they automatically think I'm ethnic of some sort, of some color. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like automatically you are ready have defined yourself as, I want to say, almost as a black person, as a person of color, which you, which might be self-conscious because there's a lot of, I mean, we only 11% of the population if you mm-hmm. think about it, right? And then on top of that, it's so much harder to find your curl pattern, to find your curl mm-hmm. routine. So it is easier to, to get a weave. It's just easier. Like, I don't spend a bunch of money on... I, we've actually caused way more than my curl products. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. Some people do go OD. I stick to the same curl products. I don't do... It's more so the routine than it is mm-hmm. the product right. for me. Mm-hmm. And that's just Facts. what Believe it is. Believe it or not, natural girls are more high maintenance than One, girls mm-hmm. the weed. When I say, you know... They mm-hmm. take three, four hours to get their shit together, man. Yes and mm-hmm. yes or no. That, those are the girls that, that do the tutorials. On. My shit, I, I could air dry my shit. I'm not going to sit there under a dry <laughs> like, No, like, no. But I get what you're saying. I feel like I can't dedicate a whole day to getting the weave. I can't. I can't. I can't sit there. I can't. Yeah, some people get their shit sold in. They got to mm-hmm. go get the bundles. They got, like, hell, I'm not doing all that. I'm going to go buy my Cantu products, <laughs> and I'm going to just wash and go. <laughs> That's it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not doing all that. Biggity Black. What's good? Question <laughs> for you. Yes, sir. The women that wear wigs, do you think believe because they feel men like it more? What do you prefer, weave or natural? So let me talk to you first. Yeah. Uh, so to be honest, um... I don't really, I don't, I don't mind a female wearing weave or a wig. What I do mind is her not also adding in her natural hair into the mix. Like if you're going to switch it up because you want to feel different and look different, cool, no problem. We understand you want a new spin, a new look, a new 
set a breath of air or whatever. <laughs> cool, no problem. But throw in your natural look too. You should not hide your natural look. If your natural look is what you're insecure about, then how could you really be proud to be you? That's my that's my only take. You understand? I mean, and that's it. There's but there's a lot of pushback you get being my complexion with my hair texture. You you just get from people. Chill out. <laughs> I'm serious. Like when I, I well, hold on before you get to your burden, what you got to catch the torch to bed. I'm gonna speak on the question, being that uh, I'm a, a female that had wear weaves natural also, and I'm kind of in between because I've seen that the natural look actually could take longer than a fucking weave or a wig. A wig, you put it on, pin, 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 out of there. Natural should be in there, this moisturizer. <laughs> This spray, a little bit of water, brush, brush, brush. That shit is too crazy. So, but I think ultimately I might lean towards natural because the wigs and weeds be shedding. Like, it be all over the fucking place, man. I mean, everything my hair sh- sheds. Everything sheds. No, oh, my no. Hair, my everything clothes, sheds. It drains like a motherfucker. I'm telling drains. you. Drains. Yeah. Sushi, sushi shed. Every two, yep. every two months, the I drains, gotta have somebody come clean. Your drawers, yeah. yo. I wipe my See ass everywhere. and we get in my ass. Like, Why the fuck we get in my drawers, yo? What? Like, it's just crazy. Like, anyway, you put on socks in between your toes. Like, how did this get here? So, I, I, on that aspect, I might be leaning more towards natural. Even though natural takes a longer process because natural hair is just like you just got to deal with all the but, bullshit. But it, we it, was already ready but to not, go. Like, but not, but not for everybody. Like some, some girls got the short do and, it, and it's fly. And, some and it girls still takes just, a while to get the short do right. Some girls can just shower and go. No, mm-hmm. y'all Unless promise you. Like the I promise you, young like, sushi, I, jump in the shower, yeah. get out the shower, comb her hair, and go. It like, takes like fifteen minutes. I kind of shower and go for the most part system. too. <laughs> 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 I can't do that. With how my hair <laughs> texture is, I can't we do know that. Not shower. Not shower and go. I think. I think. I think. But I put think that, people think on, they need girl. that routine. Screw I don't think you need that much stuff. As like, if you got, you should only really be using three to max four products right after you got out the shower. And I said, if you naturally, like, I don't understand why there's so many. Because there's so many products for these natural girls. Yeah, they want to put them all in their it's head. It's like weed. They trying to try different they things. They want to try them all. Stick to Old Faithful. You ain't going to cheat on your man. <laughs> Pink lotion. <laughs> shea butter. Your, your, your hair changes. Auntie James. So my curl pattern. I use certain things in my curl pattern to stick. And it's, it's not a 50-minute process. It takes me at least 45 minutes to get my curl pattern. Oh, yeah. Like a 30. Right. But that's like if you want a curl. But let's say you... 45 minutes. I can watch a whole episode blow. of Power. Watch episode of Power while she get ready. Nah. Now we late for our reservation because she want to get her curl pattern I've actually together. never seen Power so I don't, I don't understand I gotta watch it though I'm gonna watch it one day watch yeah, yeah we're not gonna talk about it we ain't gonna ruin that <laughs> alright next part of the question this is a real question dope question why do African American women get more flat for wearing fake hair than other races <laughs> let me start there I wanna touch on that cause everybody yo not for nothing look White women, Chinese women, everybody wear weeds. Everybody Wigs. wear the weeds. Everybody wear weeds. Everybody but only wear the weeds. African American women get flat. They want to be white women. They want to be that. But everybody does it. So why do you feel you know, that y'all, the sisters, okay. even you, Scott? Well, we get flat <laughs> I'm not. That's a fact. I'm going. But to, how do you? I'm gonna say. Why do you feel y'all got the okay. most flat? I'm gonna say because th- this is just me observing the question. <laughs> okay. I Speak would say. I would say because. White girls, other women have that hair texture, and people might think that we're not embracing our hair texture by us putting Peruvian hair in our hair because it's Peruvian hair. It's not. It's not our hair texture. So as a person, you're gonna get flack if you if you put I don't know Mexican bedhead in your hair and dye it blonde. Yeah, and dye it blonde. Spike people it. gonna be like, what the hell is wrong with you? You you wanna, you woke up <laughs> on the wrong side of the bed, like you know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just a matter of people feeling like you're not embracing your own hair texture like if if when girls have the curly weave in their hair i honestly can't tell sometimes when girls have curly weave in their hair i can't tell because they blend it really well i'm you can't ask me because i wouldn't be able to I'd be like yo your hair is dope <laughs> and it's not and then she's like no there's a weave so it's like but then when when it's like a peruvian hair or something like that i'm like oh okay that you might think be white that, girls put african-american hair in there yeah. you think they sell african-american hair i don't i don't know do? i never actually went to go What's your hair cultural connoisseur? appropriation <laughs> baby <laughs> Cultural you appropriation. Store, you'll see it. They got mm-hmm. African American hair. Yeah. That's yep. dope, man. I ain't know that. I didn't know that. Either. They do that. I ain't know they and package they wear our weaves, shit. Like 
your weave no, is. No, I know they wear. I know they wear weaves. I know they. they I've seen a lot. No, 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 no. I've seen a lot. Certain techniques. I know clips and all that. I know they wear them clips and all that shit. But I ain't know they sell African American ones. So you think it's white girls walking around there with low Keisha hair in her head? Somebody, they bring it right, so why do you feel that African American women get more flack for wearing weaves? I think it's well, we get flack about everything, but I feel like what she said because of the difference in textures, it looks like something that's not naturally grown out of your head. It looks more like it, even the name of it. Is but the like African American race hair. is beautiful. We we it, that could grow out of your head. I mean, right. you know and, what I'm saying? That can grow out of your head. But people don't. Like, that exactly. Come in all kinds of exactly. Things, all we the race with the. Everything. Some of the best jeans ever. You know what I'm saying? We can get all types of textures, all types of looks. It's dark skins with blue eyes and all that. You know what I'm saying? a girl with like blue eyes or straight hair and she's black, they'll be like, oh, you mixed with something? Like, no, I'm not. I think it's just society in general. They place us in a lower bracket than they place everybody else. And we else. gotta be in a cat- in category. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Black, I, I, you wanna touch on that? I'm yeah, I kinda, I, kinda, I kinda don't wanna get too deep, but you know... <laughs> I feel a little different. I feel like um, I feel like it's deeper than that. It go way back. It go back into back into history, mm-hmm. and it's more like, you know, how do we how do we control with us being so dominant and so influential? How do we control the black men? You understand? How do we control mm-hmm. the black men? How do we stop the understand where I'm going? How do we stop the black men from actually flourishing? Right? We gotta degrade antagonize and and you know uh uh confuse the black woman and I, and and that's why I feel like it's really coming from cuz making them feel like with well, all the commercials and infomercials of this is this is what american beauty is this is what the standard of beauty you got to be this size this tall this hair texture only look like this like and a game of chess. yeah and it, clean, it, right? it it confuses you cuz now you stay you natural and you might not get what you want and now you go change to try to get what you what you want and then probably still don't you understand but now you're now you're changing or you change and might get more attention and now you're like oh shit this shit really worked and now you buy into it and it's like if we confuse the actual woman then they can never be that secure or stable to uplift their man like some some shit like that is what i feel you know what i mean maybe i'm not saying it all right all in one sentence but that's how i that's how i feel it is it's, so it's kind of crazy feel like it's society like society it is so. society okay. society based where 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 they're just confusing us on you know or con- confusing many on how to look how to feel how to how to feel beautiful how to feel accepted acceptance is the human number one fear and if people don't feel accepted people would do anything for that shit yep. they'll smoke weed crack you know drink molly you know, some people drinking prescriptions they don't got nothing wrong with them you understand know just Perk to be down you know what i mean so I this shit is future. crazy tanya what's up personally this rubs me a certain way let it rub you because i mean i've been for most of people know what I do for a living. I've been in professional environments for the first time I had my job. Um, and uh, we were always taught we had to look a certain way. And I remember distinctly last year. I mean, when I was, um, forget the weave natural hair thing. When I, there's one time I was like, you know, I'm going to start wearing my weaves, but I want my weaves, my weaves to represent or mimic my natural hair texture if I was supposed to grow it out. So I had the kinky hair, I had the curly hair. It was all it was all ethnic looking. It wasn't the long straight hair with the weave. Now and again I did it, but most of my weaves were around mimicking my natural hair texture. And I remember one time I did my hair, had I put some big long, big like afro uh um weave in my hair, crochet braids. And I loved it. And I came to work and it was like, oh your hair looks nice. And then the next like about a week or two weeks after I took it out and I put in my straight hair put in my Becky hair <laughs> and everybody at work was like you look so much better wow and I will never forget the way I felt like and that is something that lets me know like Black said it, it is in society we do have it in the back of our heads that certain things looks better than certain things certain things is more professional if you're in a certain environment you have to have your wear your hair a certain way our Black women get flack because we have to observe us observe a standard of beauty that is not ours naturally like straightening your hair dyeing your hair pressing your hair perming your hair fucks black hair up mm-hmm. y'all always want to talk about the girl with the y'all afraid of daughters a little ponytail but y'all want us to do these things start here that breaks in and damages it naturally 
I want like, my daughter to have a little ponytail. I want no little, little niggas fucking my daughter. No, but seriously, like, if you remember, y'all, remember that, y'all remember that meme that was Hope going my around. Hope don't grow no more. Y'all remember that meme that was going around of my biggest fierce dog with a little ponytail? Like, everyone who has natural hair knows that there's recoil and there's kink. You wet your hair, your hair goes back short. You, and, they, that, and it's like, why is it that our hair is only considered beautiful when we, when we straighten it? You know what I'm saying? You see a girl, a black girl, pull her hair out. Oh my God, no, your hair was so nice. Like, it wasn't nice in the afro. I agree. You I know, like, like we nice get, we nice. have that. Like, it's, I mean, people say it, but, I mean, it's not, people say it, but in practice, they naturally revert to, ne- like, aesthetically attracting to something that's not African looking. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's something that's culturally, is it was culturizing, it's just something society put in us, we don't realize it. Now people try to break out of it, we still get a hard time. Like, even Curl Fest, I saw somebody comment online today is like why they were have so much weaves at curl fest hey, first hey, of all hey, stop hey, first of all they were forget there was weaves they were african looking weaves they were weaves that mimicked us you mm-hmm. know it was curl fest was about our skin tone our hair texture thing owning things that society always give us a pushback on so if you can wear a weave baby and it's an african looking weave i'm all for that shit because i'd rather you wear african looking weave than a weave looks like this that i have on my head i mean i mean like i, I have something on my head but i know what i feel on the inside and but what i've I experienced think that goes back to because it shouldn't matter what someone else says. If I wear a weave, whether I have a weave like this or if I have my real hair, if I have an afro weave, if I'm content with how I look, that's all that should matter to me. Yeah. That is true, but yeah. I mean, it's like, it's, but, it's in, but it's in businesses too. Like, why was I in the yeah, office right. and the office thought that I looked better with? That's because that's what they're trained yeah. to do. And, and, and that's the and that, problem and that's right I, that's there. That's how I realized too. I was actually... Fucking up my curl pattern, pulling my hair back. Yeah, I was working a nine it's to five. Mm-hmm. I actually stopped working a nine to five because I couldn't like, I wear my hair out. A lot of people and left their like, jobs. You know what? This is just not not for me, and that's okay. I'll I'll work at a creative nine to five then, where I can wear my hair out. And I don't gotta pull it back for the man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's how I felt. <laughs> like, it's really how but I felt. Our jobs but wait, give you a list of things like you of have course, to come with clean hair, neat hair. But what they're yeah. saying is, don't, after don't come with that big afro, baby girl. girl pull that out. shit back. Straight Maybe some that that shit. Blow that shit shave, out. shave your beard, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. beard is saying, but wait, that but but I got to hear that. Well, hold on. Let's get to the hold on. Yeah, not the hold on. We'll get to the last question of the show. You know, we. We, we, we ran on overtime today. We, we stretching it out, you know what I'm saying? We, so let me get to the last question. Why is there such a huge divide between women that wear weaves and wigs and those that choose to stay natural? And why is this such a sensitive topic? So, you know, because when we first touched on it, we was like, yeah, that's sensitive. We don't know. We don't. Nah, fuck that. We talk about all, everything. We talk about anything that come across this motherfucking so what, what, Repeat the question one more time. Just why is it such a huge divide between women that stay natural and women like, it be really like Bloods and Crips beef. Like, between women that <laughs> right, got wigs so. and women right. that's natural. Like, oh, fuck that bitch got a wig or da da like chicks that natural feel a kind of way about chicks with weeds and chicks with weeds feel a way about some chicks with natural hair. But that's but that's, that's common sense. You 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 have you no, have you have it's the not group. Common sense. Yes, you have right, the so group. Why is it? You have the group that's 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 coming out natural, saying, "Hey, I'm sticking to who I am." Then you got the group who they feel who who the natural feel like you're trying to look like somebody else. And that's why I break it down to like maybe if I don't know maybe I might be showing my age. You ever seen the movie School Days? Mm-mm. When it was the the dark skinned girls that was all natural, but the light skinned girls all had wigs and I, I, wigs. I try to catch up. You ain't never see that. I don't know, girl. You ain't. You start acting like you. Yeah, young. They ain't that young. I seen it. I ain't care. You know, you remember know you the movie, 40, though, right? And you remember how <laughs> you know what I'm saying they was called the dark skinned girl jigaboos and stuff like that, and they was basically like she girls. Like girl. Well, you know, see school days. Twenty seven. I don't know. Was Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I seen Crooklyn, like. I mean, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> get, get, get the Spike Lee collection, well, they're, please. They're, they're really but basically, they, they related to like any like if you was not natural, you was basically trying to be somebody else. You was stuck in that European lifestyle, like mm-hmm. you wanted to be white. Girl, and a lot of people believe that. You want to stretch mm-hmm. your head. I know, and that's that. what they related it to. So I think you know, that's why it's so sensitive because you're going away from what you really look right. like. You're you, trying to be dis- you're disguising yourself to feel confident. About who you are. You know what it is. Okay. I, I, I minored in, in black studies. And during that time, I was really passionate about Nick Natural. About being natural. 
about just like really being, you know, like where am I? I didn't even put curl products in my hair because I was so inspired and really made me feel like I needed, I, like, fuck the European culture. Like, fuck this white shit. Like, but did fuck. you feel, and did you do that? Is white. So now, honestly, like, did you do that because you felt like you wasn't as black as the rest of the people? Or no, you felt like you wanted to no, be more no, black? No, no, no. Because my, 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 I didn't have No, I'm saying, because I have a friend that's, that's mixed and he be, he goes above and beyond. Oh, and no, I never actually like had black. that problem. I don't know. I never had that problem. Problem, maybe because both my parents are from different countries. Mm-hmm. I never was, I wasn't raised, to, I didn't understand like slavery and the American way of being mixed until I, until I learned, until I studied this. I okay. Like in my household, Caribbeans, we accept, we, we accept everybody, even though, you know, is Not like, gay people. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. Furniture>. <laughs> um... <laughs> But, um, uh, you know, I mean, yes, my dad's right, but I never understood what it was like, what slavery was like until I learned it in school. I didn't get it. My household was just mixed. I was just mixed. I didn't have identity issues. I was just a person that was, had a black, you know, black mom and a white dad. I didn't understand that. So growing up, once I learned and I learned about slavery, it made me upset. And yes, at times it made me upset that women wanted to wear weave. I was like, damn, we, we so beautiful. We fight so fucking hard. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit made me passionate. But then people have their preferences. If you don't want to do this, you shouldn't have to do this. If you, if it's easier for you to throw a weave on, then by golly, throw a weave on. <laughs> I'm not going to pressure you. I ain't gonna lie, your natural hair is beautiful, but it blocked your whole face. Today. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> y'all here? I need a cut. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, you out here looking like Sideshow Bob. But. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, I bought a motorcycle here. I was, I would have pulled it. I would have did something else. But, uh, but I, I had to put a helmet. How do you feel about why is this such a divide between um you, the weavers and the uh, the naturals? I think it's insecurity. That, On um, both sides. On both sides, like just the fact that you look different from me, and then there's a stigma with it. Like if your hair is natural, you must be this kind of person. If you wear weaves, you must be this kind of person. I just feel like that's with anything. Like if you like a certain brand of sneaker and another person, there's always rivalry with difference, mm-hmm. and that's what I. That's what it all boils down to. But it's just because they just want something to beef about. I don't see what's the difference. But do you feel like because you put a weave in your hair, you Nike and the natural girls feel like? No, not at all. Because no. I can look at a natural girl and I'll be like, damn, her hair is nice. Like, my weave couldn't come close to that. All pretty. Don't think because you put a weave in your hair, you actually yeah, look that, better. Yeah. Because hair don't make you. Because you have weave does not make you pretty. Hair don't because make you. Wear you. makeup does not make you mm-hmm. pretty. Because you have a different skin complexion, it does not make you pretty. And sometimes you're prettier. Sometimes you're prettier with no preservatives, no added sugar, no added nothing. Sometimes you're prettier just. Natural and some, I think some women don't even know that. Like my girl, sometimes when she put on makeup, I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing? You don't even Girl. need that shit." <laughs> I like you just be, and she don't put on a lot. She got this little shit she thinks she do with this little brush. I don't know what she doing. It take her like five minutes to put this shit on, but I be like, "Yo, what the fuck are you doing that for?" Like your, your teeth is white, your hair good. We out. Get the fuck out of here. Brush your teeth. We out. Like we just need to smile. That's all we gotta do. And, and I feel like some people go crazy with the makeup. Yeah. Like and then go crazy. The yeah, you can't spend two hours yeah. on on your hair yeah. and then an hour on your face, <laughs> and then your face is light skin, your neck is dark skin. Come on, my like. It, I'm talking about these Jamaican girls like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. It's that's how old Jamaican girls be. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> that's out, how they be. Out here looking like a little Kim, son, looking crazy. Like yeah, I, out here looking crazy. Tanya, real quick. Well, repeat the question one more time. Mm-hmm. I don't have my phones, and I'm drunk, so I don't know. <laughs> nah, um, what's the huge divide? Why do you feel like it's such a big divide between the, the natural girls and the girls that wear weave? Like, why is it so much beef? Like, blood crips, why is it I think so be- much tension? Because, like, society is going through, at least our society today is going through that transitioning where we're trying to take back what we were lost and we were for so long that it's, like, anything that looks like... It's not going with the flow, going with the program. Like it's not pro black. It's kind of like, well, you a fucking sellout, bitch. Like why you got, look, why you got that weave on? And for the most part, I think I'm pro black as shit. But that don't mean because I wear a wig, I'm not pro black. You know, like don't hold me to that. Like I mean, I have my reasons why I'm wearing it. I I'm all for black power. I'm all for black success. I'm all for that black girl magic. I'm all for that black boy magic. I'm all for that. I'm all for the promotion. I'm all for the education. I'm all for all of that shit. So basically, why he's got a bad to... fucking haircut? Like why y'all giving me a hard time for a bad haircut? <laughs> so bro? it comes down to assumptions. Basically, like it's an assumption. Right. A natural yeah, person will feel like you're not 
you're not down for the cause because you're yeah, already because, putting the European head. Like you're already, yeah. you're already I mean, jumped I to the side. I get it. I get. I I, I can understand yeah, that. Yeah, like think about I, it. Like I how, get. It, like I get that I'm wearing straight here. I get that's not me. But don't say because I'm wearing it is I'm I'm a complete fucking sellout because right. I could wear a weave and be more pro black than somebody with a fucking afro. Well, that's they think true. A certain attitude comes with it. Like mm-hmm. oh, she wears weave. She must be. She must hate herself. Or yeah, she must think like that she's you were in a weave. But that's how yeah. back in the days how I was feeling. Like I don't know. I always revert back to old movies. Like when you that look back at like Malcolm X too. Man. Like when he was like, "Yo, take that bullshit out your hair." Mm-hmm. Like he kept perming his hair so he won't look like a black person. He kept perming so he could be straight and look like one of these um, white boys. He like that's not who you are. You know what I'm saying? You a black man. Mm-hmm. Wear your hair like a black man. Stop acting like you know what I'm saying. It comes into play so, with the history. Of, as a natural of woman, probably look at a woman. With wearing a wig or whatever, like that's not who you are. Be, Embrace be. who you are and love who you are, and that's why the divide I think it is because mm-hmm. they they look at them like you're not even being you. Like you want to act exactly. like you're you, but you're not even exactly. being you. You don't even wake up in the morning. You got to put this cap on your head and feel like, oh, I'm beautiful now. But the, even if you have a bad the head, thing, respect your people shit. People are go associating out you putting the weave in with directly feeling beautiful. When yes. it could just be that I'm just going to work, bitch. Just like don't I just, I don't but feel like her my thing is like, go like, happy. Take this like little, my black girl magic is inside of me and shining. Yeah, but then you got head. people like you calling people sideshow Bob when they just wake up and leave a damn house. It's just a joke, girl. That's what I'm saying. So they put on their weave. That see, look at that full circle. You don't need put. Oh, oh, shit, your God shit damn up. circle. Why is God coming at me like that? <laughs> Shout out to old Sasha Bob, back behind <laughs> pretty hair girls. We at the end of our show. We mm-hmm. wrapping it up, man. It was a dope show. I appreciate everybody. Um, we gonna start with the guests first. Throw your shout outs out. Let's see what you got going on. Shout out to Men DC, C Block, <laughs> Lockdown Love. <laughs> yeah, um, girl. I mean, shout out to my son. I'm gonna always give my son a shout out. But I just want to let everybody know I'm opening up a lounge. Shameless plug. Do it. Ain't no shameless plug. That's that black girl magic right there. This is, this is a shout Talk out. about it. First, say Brown Holy Water at the door. First drink, $2 off. Yeah, come. Yes, bring yeah. your Brown Holy Water oh. with you. You can oh. film your podcast. <laughs> you definitely just bought it all over the table. Right. This is with the Brown Holy Water. But go ahead, shout hurry up. Yeah. It's called Stingrays in Harlem on 132nd and 5th Avenue. I'll be having a having a grand opening within the next three to four weeks. Everybody come out. How do they find out more information? Where do they go? You can go to Instagram, Stingrays NYC for all the updates for all of the um. What type of restaurant is it? Is it like a club? Small plates. We're gonna have hookah, uh, full bar. And then there's small plates. You got girls walking around bathing suits? That's major. We got star Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, that's I like that. Oh, that's good. Girls, that's in, good. girls in bathing suits is cool. I All of me, I lit. No yeah. water around. <laughs> <laughs> that's what a no fuck black girl that's magic it? is, that's yo. Not a here. That's all you got going, that's it? No, she do a lot of stuff. She do teeth whitening. Tell them what you do, girl. Hello, <laughs> get into it. Shit. <laughs> no, I don't do teeth whitening. Hurry I have up. kids clothing line coming out, A-Royale. So make sure it's for little boys, not girls yet. So kids clothing line for boys. And um, that's it right about now. If they want to follow you, you, it, you want to follow me, Instagram, Miss Erica D. That's M S E R I K A D. And she check her DMs, y'all. Get in there. <laughs> no, no, don't take his advice. DM, DM. <laughs> Facebook caller, too. <laughs> Guess, Scott, let us know. Um, I mean, you out. can follow me on Skylandish, but I have a strip and fitness party coming up on August 20th. It's a Labor Day edition, so it'll be some reggae in there, some whining in there. with yeah. Immigrants me. come out. Um, so you could go to strippingfitness.com to sign up for that or follow my Instagram and I'll post it and it's that easy. Nice. And Brown Holy Water will be in the yes, building they'll be, that they'll day. Be, they'll be shot going we'll live. I'm still from my there. Oh, um, <laughs> bad girl. What you got going on, bad girl? I just want to shout out everybody to fuck with me, son. Cookie. Like, shout, out shout, out cookie. shout out Cookie. I shout out my Cookie, son. That's my. He that's catching that dove right cook, now. He don't cook. care about you. <laughs> Shout out my cookie, so I love that man. Um, that's wow! Shut up! Oh, shut up! That was that was oh. pure for the. I home. love that. Yo, you got it, big homie. Big homie, you got it. Let her go. Let cookie, her go. I ain't gonna even hate no more. Party. So. Let her go. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna hate no more, that cookie. Was crazy. That's Why it. That's all you got. I just want to show everybody fuck with me, son. Y'all have been so supportive from the jump. Like, I don't have specific... Facts. Thanks to the fans. That's why she on the show, man. Facts, everybody yo. said she was the key. I love all of y'all. I love all of y'all. I'm y'all here popping. for you. Um, Handsome15 Instagram. 
Live Brown Facebook. Uh, shout out to everybody that supported us for that um Brown Holy War brunch day party. Part two coming um August what? Twenty seventh. August twenty seventh in the building. We're gonna Labor drop day. the link soon. Day. Last day. Sunday of the summer is gonna be lit. If yes. you were, yeah. I ain't got to even talk about it because y'all yeah, already went to the show. first one. Y'all already know what it was. Y'all already y'all seen it. it, was, it was, they it was, seen it. It was a lot of quality, so, um, not quantity. Yeah, 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 that's a fact. Um, other than that, stay um, blessed. Uh, enjoy yourself. See you next week, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black Success, take us out. Y'all already know what it is. Your boy Black Success, 2940 <laughs> with 29 Zoomy. You know what I mean? So, August 20th, we're going to be with Sky at the workout joint. Make sure y'all come there. Come get your workout on. If y'all know me, I got a lot of triceps, a lot of chest, a lot of back. <laughs> I mean, that's another story. You can see me there. And then August 27th, August 27th, Brown Holy Water. Part two. Part two. <laughs> doing it. The redemption. <laughs> Redemption. We do it again. We're doing Shake it. Shake it and waffles. It was a lot of quiet. Watch the pasta. You've seen it. Your eyes work. We gonna Henny do wings. No, we brown holy water wings. You, you already know what it is. Make sure you Jerk hit. chicken just for Makisha sure people. It's going down. The flyer dropped this week. Event Bright dropped this Event week. Bright dropping. Only doing 100 tickets after that. It don't matter. Don't they come. come. Don't Stay come. home. They're flannels. <laughs> Fuck Blacks. I'm coming for your job. <laughs> Boris, get us out of here. Black success. Cody Allen. You ready? 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 Brown holy water pouring out of the bottle. Like, share, comment, got it, and then follow. Black Live. Yeah, that's the franchise. Pull up every Sunday at 7 and get baptized. Brown holy water pouring out of the bottle. Like, share, comment, got it, and then follow. Black Live. Yeah, that's the franchise. Pull up every Sunday at 7 and get baptized. You ready? You ready? Pull up every Sunday at 7 and get baptized. You ready? You ready? Pull up every Sunday at 7 and get baptized.